the main thing is bidding it all on self. Bidding it all on self, man. Like, not listening to motherfuckers tell you what they tell they self for them not to keep going. Because you got to keep moving. You got to keep progress. To You got to keep moving to keep progress. And so bidding it all on self, that's just like... You got to go in, it don't matter what, however you do to get your bread. But with this music, bro, it's 90% politics, bro, and 10% music. People don't care what you sound like no more. I told you he was giving you the okay, okay, back to make the way he don't uh, All right, so we got Houston rapper, Cocaine Jeffrey Wayne, sitting down with us. What's, What's going that? on, bro? Man, I'm cool. It's cool. Feel good to be here. For sure, for sure. For How's, sure. uh, what, what you think about Oklahoma City so far? Man, I ain't gonna lie, the night like turned. I, I feel down here on a Sunday night to see Sunday night be jumping like Sunday that. Sunday is one of the best nights to get I out here. I ain't gonna lie, be jumping, rocking on Sunday night down this way all night long. That's my type of shit, too. <laughs> you feel me? What'd you hit? Uh, what we hit? A2? A2. I think I wasn't down here. I think I was in Tulsa oh, last okay. night. Yeah. Sure. I was at a few spots in Tulsa. It was dangerous, though. That's how I like it. Dangerous. Live. Jeez, the females, they was outside politics and that shit was amazing, you feel me? For sure, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, so like I said, you, you born and raised in Houston? Born and raised, Houston, Texas, north side. I was gonna say I was gonna ask you, I know y'all real territorial about what <laughs> side of Houston you came from. Yeah, really it ain't it ain't too much like that no more. It's love on both ends, but and I put on for the whole city, you feel me? Ain't no ain't no we step outside the lines, life dry out there. You feel me? I put on for my city like so it ain't no side, but I'm from the north though. From the know. For sure. For mm -hmm. sure. So, I like, mean, what, what was it like coming up, you know, as a kid out there? Oh, it's going to either make you or break you. You can either chew the game up or let it chew you up. You know what I'm saying? But all, anything, any through life lessons on my side of town, you know, life the best teacher. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I get my understanding on life from, from the concrete gravel. So, it's G'd up. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Well, I mean, what were you into as a kid? You, I mean, you into music or you? No, not really. I don't really want to say jack all trades. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jack all trades. It's just something really like I'm a big thinker. So if I was always to myself or something, I would always think of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I feel like. Out of anything I know in the world, that's how I express myself. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't, I didn't get serious to, with it till like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. How, I mean, how old are you? I Man, I'm 33. Okay, so you were conscious in the heyday, all the oh, yeah. screwed up shit. Oh, was going yeah, on yeah. That. Then I'm, I'm from Houston. Like I say, I'm from Houston. I'm from the North, but. I ain't a lot of business music come from the south side. You know what I'm saying? I ain't not to beat nobody down from my side of town. It just like, it just like I was from there. I got to see the way of life from there. So to see it be on the outside looking in from the south side, you know that music was dope to me. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So you said you picked it up just within the last few years, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I mean, what got you? You know, obviously you said, I'm sure everybody, you know, freestyles <laughs> with the homies and stuff like right. that, but what made you like, okay, I'm going to make music now? I don't know what made me want to make music is I got a big homie. I didn't get to meet him. This the CEO of our label, Fat Baby. It's just like we was going and going and going in the streets until he was like, bro, we got to get, it got to be a way. Everything got to be legit. It got to be, we can't look over our shoulder. Like, and he just came up with this idea, bro, I want to do music, bro. I didn't did anything else in the world and I was good at it, so I know it we do this and put our mind to it it's gonna be amazing so like it's a whole team of us i'm really here today by myself it's a whole team of us but i speak for my team you feel me but saying it to say like we got behind that we got behind my big homie goal and then we made it our own goal so everybody could share the same goal and she we stayed down with it she we've been off the porch in atlanta i just came from doing kod for ten thousand and ain't got no tape out you know what I'm saying? So it just stand down, stand down and never land down, you know, but music, the main thing that wanted me to jump on the train is just this was my big homie goal. This was my big homie dream. And if he needed my voice to be instrumental in getting his dream out, I wanted to be right there for him. You feel me? So what do you think he saw in you that was like, you know? Everybody can't be a rapper, you know. Some, right, somebody right. has to be the security guard. Right. Or somebody, you know, definitely, stuff like that. So but yeah, everybody got a position to play. 
Where if it's with somebody we get, you might be stronger. But one thing you seen about me, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. My veins, I ain't gonna lie. I got that blowtorch in me. I'm straight base and then off the muscle. It's on site off safety with me. I'm ready to go. He tried to cool my, maybe, maybe it's the coldest part. Like, I'm a little calm now. I used to really be ready to go that way, but just him him being in my end talking to me like, man, you the fire. You the fire, but you ain't gonna be able to burn if you ain't out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's like that's like what he's seeing me. He know my eager desire for social standing out here. You know what I'm saying? He know my he know my integrity. He know how I'm real when ain't nobody watching. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So I mean getting involved, I guess, directly with, you know, a situation is a little bit different than right. somebody, you know, who right. yeah, starting out my, on a, Yeah, know. we was broke together. So words words mean the most when you don't got no money to me. You feel me? Right. We was broke together and I seen us I seen us touch the top of the backboard. We went from broke, short, crawling till we could ball. You feel me? For sure. So I mean what is that, you know? You say, you, when did you officially start rapping? Two years ago, you said? Two years ago. Okay. It's 23. It's 23, so I want to say he popped it off like me at 21. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, almost two years. So. Right, right. Uh, I mean, how do you feel like... How do you feel like as far as the industry, you know, getting everything? What's your thoughts on, you know, being inside of stuff a little bit more? Being inside of this industry, like I always say, I done been on every, like, vlog. I done been on every, like, podcast. The main thing is betting it all on self. Bidding it all on self, man, like not listening to motherfuckers tell you what they tell they self for them not to keep going because you got to keep moving. You got to keep progress to you got to keep moving to keep progress. And so betting it all on self, that's just like you got to go in. It don't matter what, however you do to get your bread. But with this music, bro, it's 90 percent politics, bro, and 10 percent music. People don't care what you sound like no more. But if you can, if you can, guess what? Content is king. If you can, if you look like you can talk, if you if you look like if you look like what you talk about in your music, you know what I'm saying? You will stay in the test of time. But the main thing is being timely, standing the test of time. When you play pocket, sound like it came my yesterday you know what I'm saying you got to be able to stand the test of time but the biggest thing I just said is all of this is 90% politics and 10% music bro 90% politics 10% music so all new artists you got to get out there and do their groundwork it ain't it ain't faking it ain't faking because you might be a stiff dude or a real dude you got to drop their pride and go pull up on these artists and say look I'm him such and such bro you signing good you got to get out there and work you know what I'm saying? You gotta really pop your shit out here in this industry right now because it's a rapper born every day, every 15 seconds, somebody start rapping. If you don't make one song, little homie finna drop that hot shit and he up niche. <laughs> you hear me? So we just keep moving and keep progressing, my G. You Facts. know what I'm saying? For sure. So um, do you feel like that's a, a, important to, you know, um, I mean, you were kind of alluding to it, you know, having something mm -hmm. to talk about and you know have some substance and <laughs> right know, right kinda, right you you feel like that helps you out you know kind of being um you know yeah you got to be a little eloquent you know you know it, you got to be like that you got because guess what the show must go on and anything and all things it must go on because if you can't hold the people attention i told you little bro just dropped this song you feel me so if your song ain't sounding like that you be able to be you know what i'm saying you got to make the people smile one time you got to be able to hold their attention you got to be able to do something they got to know you they got to know you like this here like like this how they got to know you for like what make that t-shirt what made you buy that t-shirt and what they make you buy this t-shirt you feel me? Like, like they gotta know about you. They gotta know about your brand. They gotta know about you, cause soon as you let it die, little bro them, little bro them, they right there. You feel me? So saying that to say just eloquence. Whatever you stand on, you gotta know something. You better be good at it. Know what the hell you, you know what I'm saying? You better know how to tell a motherfucker how you good at what you do. You see what I'm saying? Facts. But that's, uh, you know, a lot of people, especially when they decide they want to be a rapper, they put this like mindset that they're too cool to you know, yeah. be outside and shaking hands yeah, and, nah, and stuff like that. Nah, well, you can't be like that. Can't be like that out here. I ain't gonna lie, sad, sad, sad sight for poor eyes, they don't never win all this stiff shit. That shit don't go no more. 
everybody in the world, if if you a standoffish, this ain't the this ain't the you know this ain't the this ain't what you want to do. If you a standoffish person, if you a, you know what I'm saying, if you one deep, this ain't something you want to do. Main thing in life is being vibrant and getting out, being vibrant and getting out there and politicking. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for yeah. sure. So. Um, you, you told me you got a, a new project on the way? That's man, I got that new tape coming on the way. It's going to be the hardest thing coming out of Texas, man. And it's called Peck Traffic Volume 1. Cold Heavy, that's what I got on. That's my clothing line, Cold Heavy, everywhere in the world. You know what I'm saying? Cold Heavy Volume 1, Peck Traffic. That's, that's your uh, clothing brand? Yeah, you Got yeah. that shit on hand to toe, yeah, too. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. He, he's doing yeah, what he's talking yeah. about. I, I'm, I'm the Peck, you feel me? I'm the pack. I'm gonna sell me if I don't sell shit else. You feel me, my G? Thanks, yeah, thanks. So yeah. you got a, a date on that or anything? Uh, yeah, but really, I got a date coming. I'm waiting. I got bigger ranking hosting it. I'm just waiting to get it back from bigger ranking, man. And then it's gonna drop. I wanted my birthday seven one three. I'm from Houston. My birthday July thirteenth. So I want to drop it on seven one three. You feel me? Yes, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Anything else we should be out on, on, you know, on the lookout for? Man, just my whole team. My brother didn't get to make it today. Big baby for real, man. That's my brother. He hard. He got uh, he got shit coming out with Boosie right now. He got song single coming out with Slim Thug right now. I got the hardest in my city, Fast Lane. He the most dangerous. OTB Fast Lane. I got two dropping with him. You got Bugatti. He from the south. He speak for the south side of my city. I got him dropping with me. It's just it's like it's a bunch it's a bunch to stay tuned for because i ain't gonna let the people down you feel me i'm gonna go that way from i'm gonna go to the edge of the earth behind the people for you know sure, what i'm saying sure. and you know i i touched on it a little bit obviously i'm not from houston but i right. just you know from right. from I know it used to be, you know, the north and the south. Oh, yeah. So talk oh, about, yeah. you know, yeah. linking up with somebody from, you know, Look, different I'm going to teach you this, bro. Like, like this music, I said, I told you this shit two years ago. Like, it's really taking off. But I got a good friend. Like, I had came home from the pen. I came home from doing a little time. And I used to be every day chilling in my projects, but the hardest new sound on the street was Bugatti and Zay Diddy. They from that South. You got South Union and you got, you know, you got Tab City like Telephone Airport. Tab mean T A B mean telephone airport and Broadway. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no it ain't no certain that's they little acronym for it, but to make a long story short, I used to sit in my projects and I used to say, man, I don't know how I'm gonna give me some money, but I'm gonna give me some money. But I used to jam these two Southside niggas every day. And I swear to God, they motivated me to give me a check. And that was Zay Diddy and Bugatti. It's like, I ain't, I ain't that way. I ain't like most from my side of town. It's like, I'm being from the North. I always knew the South. They had a style like no other. When we couldn't, you know what I'm saying? When we come from the bottom, man, that South Side make this shit look good, man. And so them, them was like, like Zay Diddy and Bugatti, them was two of the hardest from the South Side. I was jamming, man. And I got to lock in with them in the streets out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we like family out here. Like I say, it's been two years now. They was right there when I said, I want a studio, bro. I want a studio in the clothing store, bro. And we and, and they see me with it now, you know what I'm saying? Got my own clothing store and studio in Houston, Texas on the north side. Exclusive dripping sound, man. Clothing store in front studio in the back, man. That's super dope. Yeah, man. man I'm gonna I'm have to, you know, try to make my way down For that sure, way. man. Yeah. You're welcome, man. For sure. You let me sit in your chair. You gotta come out there and sit For in mine, sure. man. For sure, <laughs> For sure. Well, um, I mean, anything else, you know, we, we need to plug before we get out of here? Man, that's it, bro. I just want to thank y'all. I'm down Absolutely. here in Oklahoma, man. It's been a blessing. It's been fun, man. We on this tour of five states, five days, man. The blowtorch on top of the head. We doing it that way. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Well, like I said, you know, I appreciate you coming in, bro. For Hopefully sure. the you know, city keeps treating you treating man, you good. For sure, for sure. Um, everything we'll we'll have to lock in again. For man, sure. we're gonna do it whenever you call them coming, man. Got you for sure. See show. It's 30, 60, 54 that when I blow that, man. I'm out here in Oklahoma right now, and I'm with the best. Blow touch on top of their head, man. Cold, heavy everywhere in the world, from my city to yours. It's Teflon love. And guess what? The big blow torch giving you the okay. Gotta know that.